All right, guys. So uh, Fox News, I don't know, man, in another low, just total lack of logic or reason going on there. Uh, Jesse Waters is going to hit us with a legendarily dumb point here. So he's going to talk about the Trump trial and like the angle of the media and the Democrats and what they're trying to do here and just soak this in in all of its glory. You know, I'm not going to get ahead of myself and predict something that's not going to happen because I want it to happen. I believe this is going to result in a conviction. And then the minute it hits, all of the media is going to pump out these polls that show Trump now losing momentum. They're going to manufacture a momentum loss. And that's how they're going to try to push this thing forward. So according to Jesse Waters, there's going to be a dishonest move by the media to try to pretend like there's like Trump is slipping in the polls because of a conviction, bro. Jesse, is it so inconceivable to you that you think he can't just genuinely and sincerely fall in the polls as a result of a fucking criminal conviction? Does that not even occur to you? That, hey, maybe any political candidate who just gets found guilty of a felony, maybe they drop in the polls a little bit. Like, maybe that will actually happen. Are you so deep in your goddamn bubble that you don't understand that a criminal conviction is going to hurt? Anybody, literally anybody, I don't care if you're Trump, I don't care if you're Biden, I don't care if you're Obama, I don't care if you're fucking, literally name any candidate ever. A criminal conviction is going to lead to some percentage of people being like, you know what, I'm good, I'll pick somebody who doesn't have a conviction on a felony. But guys, they're so deep in their bubble, they're so fucking lost, that they're like, what'll happen is, the media will dishonestly say that the conviction hurt him, even though it actually probably helped him. Guys, I don't know how to get this through to you. This is not the primary. Yes, the primary is one thing. In the primary, anytime there was a new charge, he went up in the polls. There's no doubt about it because he's the main character. And that right wing base is going to circle the wagons and be around him no matter what. But when you're in a general election, you're not trying to attract more right wing base freaks who are already with you. You are trying to get the independents. You are trying to get the moderates. You are trying to get the voters on the fence who are weighing their options. That's who you're trying to get. A criminal conviction in that scenario is going to make those people run for the hills at 1,000 miles an hour. Literally any reasonable, honest person would come to that conclusion. Instead, he, well, he, if he gets convicted, the media is going to say it hurts him. Unfairly, they're going to say that. That's what they'll do. Bro, this has got to be a new low. Look, to the Republicans who watch Fox News, I need you to stop and think about this for just a second. I need you to, to just contemplate what I'm telling you. Is it at all possible, or indeed likely, that if Trump gets a criminal conviction, he will actually just lose some support? He'll drop five or six points, or maybe eight points, ten points? Forget, if, do you think that's going to happen? Do you think that's possible that that will happen? You know the answer. You fucking know the answer. And by the way, all of them would understand this if the shoe was on the other foot and it was Joe Biden who just got hit with a, a, a criminal conviction for a felony. They'd all be like, oh, pfft. let's go tap dance on this motherfucker's political grave. It's over. He, felony? He's a felon. Who are we kidding? He's going to lose. He should lose. He's a felon. But with Trump, it's, it's backwards land, right? That's what it is. That's what it is. So... Could you just, look, could you just try a little harder, Jesse? All you Fox News hosts, please, stop making my job this easy. Like, give me something to think about. Give me something to stop and reflect on. Give me some, huh, that's an interesting point. I never heard that one. They never, ever, ever. It's just the dumbest nonsense every single day. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.